Hi, I have a new training aid to show you. It was built to help you better understand hyperelastic testing and modeling so you can make better rubber predictions. Rubber and other elastomers are used all over the place in applications from bridges to fluid seals to keyboard mechanisms. Their prevalence encourages people to find better ways to make accurate and practical predictions with them. The central mechanism in rubber prediction is deformation energy. This sculpture helps with that by showing you the amount of energy required to deform a piece of rubber into a given shape. The surface of the sculpture corresponds to all the possible deformations for a material. The horizontal location of any point determines the geometry of the deformation, while its height and also its color indicates the strain energy density. Superimposed on the energy density are curves. These curves correspond to uniform deformations for which experimental energy density is most easily measured. One of these deformations is uniaxial tension. This is where you take a long, thin strip of rubber and pull on its ends in order to extend it. Another is biaxial tension, where you take a disc and pull uniformly outward in order to expand it into a larger disc. This sculpture was generated with an equation that carries the name Neohookian. It's the simplest of models, and um, you, it normally appears only as an equation. For the very first time, this sculpture brings that equation to life so that you can see the overall shape of, this, of the function, and you can also see the relationship between common measurements that are made in order to fit that function. If you'd like to learn more about this sculpture, click on the link. It will take you to Shapeways, who manufactures and distributes the sculpture for us. Thank you for watching Polytech Pub.